Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this tutorial, I'm going to go into great detail in how to smooth out your buttercream on your cake. So smoothing out buttercream is probably the most asked question. And I kind of get a little bit frustrated with myself in replying that it is practice, which of course it is, but there are some top tips that you can bear in mind to get your buttercream as smooth as possible on the outside of your cake. And the first step is to make sure your buttercream is smooth in the first place. So in here I've got some Swiss meringue buttercream, which I've colored already, which usually comes after a crumb coat stage, which I have next to me. But what happens with buttercream when it stays or stands out for a while is it can get aerated. So before you fill your piping bag or go onto the cake, you wanna mix that by hand. And just by mixing by hand, we'll knock out any air bubbles that it has created whilst it's rested on the side. So can you hear that almost slapping noise? That's the noise you want. That sound is you knocking out your air bubbles. And if you're not making that sound, you're not mixing hard enough. So I would even do this if you're sticking to white buttercream. This step is so, so important. And now I've got beautiful, smooth buttercream. Now let's fill the piping bag. So I've got a tall cup to help me and I'm gonna open my piping bag, place it inside and fold the sides down. Now, when I'm filling my piping bag, I'm not just gonna plop it in. I'm actually going to take a small amount at a time and I'm going to spread it inside the bag. Take the next part and again, spread it on top. And this minimalizes the chance of getting air bubbles. So every time I push the buttercream down, so it's really compact in the piping bag. Take it out the cup. I can already see that there are still some bubbles in the piping bag. So what I wanna do is place it on the surface and flatten it out just by pushing the buttercream down. Now, of course, it won't go to the end until I cut it open. So I'll cut a small opening. Excuse the food coloring on my hands. I got attacked before. And now I can really press that buttercream down onto the surface and I can see straight away that smoothed out a lot. And now I can pipe it onto the cake. So I've got my crumb coated cake that's come from the fridge onto my turntable as well as a palette knife and side scraper. And I'm going to pipe on the buttercream. So starting at the bottom and keeping the pressure the same all the way around, I'm gonna pipe a generous layer of buttercream around the bottom. Now I'm gonna do the second layer. Try and get it as close to that first layer as possible and keep the thickness the same. And I'm gonna continue all the way up the cake. Notice how I'm turning the turntable instead of the piping bag. The closer these lines are to each other, the easier it's going to be to smooth out the buttercream. And you can see that there aren't too many air bubbles as well. So I'm gonna continue all the way up the cake, up to the very top, and now fill the center. A bit left in my bowl that I can also use. So my next trick is to actually smooth out the buttercream with your palette knife before you go on with a side scraper at all. Starting with the top, I'm just going to make sure that it's spread nice and evenly around the top of the cake, moving the buttercream side to side. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the sides of the cake. It's something I don't usually do. I usually go on with a side scraper, but sometimes the side scraper can actually capture more air bubbles, especially if there are gaps in between the lines. So spreading it out with a palette knife just decreases the chance of any air bubbles getting inside. So I'm using the back of the palette knife to spread the buttercream backwards and forwards around the sides of the cake. You can already see that the buttercream is getting nice and smooth. I'm gonna work my way up the cake. I'm not taking buttercream off at this point, I'm just spreading it. I've put a good layer on there 
and it's pretty even as it is. Backwards and forwards. And naturally, those holes between the lines of buttercream will close. Now I go back on the top. And this time, I'm gonna use one side of the palette knife and get that top nice and straight. The bent part in the center and using just one edge and turning the cake. And it completely flattens out and smooths out the buttercream. Any excess can go into a bowl and repeat. And you can see that the resistance of the buttercream helps with how much pressure you need to apply. I kind of wish there was some sort of signal of how much pressure I'm putting on, but it's, you just have to feel the buttercream. You're not taking buttercream off, you're smoothing it out. And I'm just gonna go across the center. There, no air bubbles. Now it's scraper time, but we are calling it a smoother. Okay, because we don't want to be scraping any buttercream off, we want to be smoothing it out. So, hand at the bottom, fingers nice and wide. I'm holding the scraper strong, but I'm doing it softly against the cake. Never too perpendicular to the cake. I want to be about 45 degrees towards the cake, almost the same angle as the palette knife was, and start smoothing. Very lightly at first. You just want to have a feel of that buttercream. Start turning. I haven't moved the side scraper yet. Now notice how little I'm taking off. I don't have a big chunk of buttercream on my scraper because I've just been spreading it out using the scraper, not taking it off. There's a difference. So it's pretty smooth, but it's not quite there. But just to show you, that's all I've taken off. If you have more than that, you're probably taking off more buttercream than you need. And when you take off more buttercream, you get closer to that colder cake where the buttercream may already be setting, which can cause more air bubbles. So that's another reason why you have to work confidently and quickly. I'm gonna scrape this clean and now finish off with the finishing touches. So every time I come on the cake, I'm going to already be moving the cake so I don't get a line where the scraper went off. And as I come off the cake, I'm still gonna be moving. So I'm coming on with a movement and off with a movement, like so. Moving already onto the cake. And when I wanna come off, I come off with a movement like this. Again, hardly taking anything off. So if you're getting just this little amount, it means the pressure's right. If you're getting more, no good. You're going on too strong. It's all about that very light pressure at the end in order to get a smooth finish, which takes practice. So sometimes air bubbles can appear. So you could just use a little bit of buttercream on the back of your palette knife to fill it in and then go over again with the scraper. Now, it does take practice, and I know it's really frustrating to hear, but I've been doing this for about eight to 10 years now. So for me, I get to the stage a lot quicker than one would usually, etc. But keep all of those things that I said in mind. Of course, at this stage, you would then either refrigerate this again and cut the corners clean, or you can clean them off now. But regarding the actual smoothness of the cake, my biggest tip is know when to stop. Because there is a chance that if you work on it too much, you can start ruining the cake. Most cakes have decorations on. If there's one air bubble that's not going, put a flower on it, put some piping on it or a sprinkle. No one's going to know. And I do the same. And if you watch my other videos, you will know that. Number two, make sure your cake isn't too cold to start with coming from your freezer or fridge. If it's been in the freezer, just make sure that it's not got that really big chill on it because that can affect your buttercream. And number three, just be wary of your environment. I'm not next to you in your kitchen, unfortunately, but I don't know how hot or cold your kitchen is and that can affect your buttercream. If it's cold like it is in the winter, your buttercream can start hardening a lot quicker. 
Right now, I'm in perfect cake temperature, but any hotter, this is gonna start getting super soft. So just be wary of that. Some people like heating up their scraper or softening the buttercream a bit. I think there's a little bit too much risk involved, but these are my top tips to getting your buttercream super smooth. So I really hope this video has helped you. For those asking, try all of these tips out yourself. If you are getting frustrated, remember it's patience and practice. And you can always head to my channel to see my other tutorials, which may teach you a few more tips and tricks. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you very soon.